recent years, the international community has really refocused on the complexity of root canal systems, which are ubiquitous to virtually all teeth. Well-shaped canals hold a critical volume of reagent that can potentially penetrate, circulate, and clean into all aspects of the root canal system. Well-shaped canals become well-filled canals and become an opening for filling canals in three dimensions. There are many popular techniques to fill root canal systems that you can choose from among. In this show, we're going to focus on iterations or variations of the classic vertical condensation technique. Let's take a look. As with any of the warm gutta percha techniques, it all starts by fitting a non-standardized master cone. The cone is fit in a wet canal to the full working length. The cone is adjusted according to paper point drawing techniques. The cone is then seared off coronally. The non-useful part is removed and the advantage is there is a five millimeter heat wave through the coronal one-third of the gutta percha cone. And this cone can be condensed into the root canal space at this level. This would be the start for either discussing the continuous wave technique or the hybrid technique. In the continuous wave technique, an electric heat plugger has been previously selected so that it can fit passively to within five millimeters of the working length. The instrument is activated and will drive through the coronal two-thirds of the gutta percha until our rubber stop meets the chosen selected reference point. This activity of downpacking should take no more than two to three seconds to prevent thermal injury. We'll deactivate the instrument and press on a material that is cooling to offset shrinkage. And of course, while we're pressing on a thermal softened material, we're able to mold this material and drive sealer under enormous hydraulics into all aspects of the root canal space. After the 10 seconds has expired, we'll activate the instrument, get a separation burst, and rock the instrument a little bit buccal lingual or facial lingual to amputate and separate the coronal two-thirds of gutta percha from the more apical extent. After removing the coronal two-thirds of gutta percha, it is wise to come back with a pre-fit plugger and recondense the coronal most aspect of the previously downpacked material. In the hybrid technique, it's a little different from the shoulder technique, which is vertical condensation and the continuous wave, in that in this method, we fit a cone, as usual, to the full working length. As described, the non-useful butt into the cone is seared off with the heat transfer device, and the coronalmost portion of the gutta percha is condensed into the coronal one-third of the root canal space. This would be a starting point to talk about hybrid obturation. In the hybrid technique, we come in with our heat transfer unit, we activate, and we plunge. Importantly, we deactivate, stay inside the root, and press for 10 seconds to mold and adapt the gutta percha into the intaglio of the root. Following that 10 second press, we reactivate and plunge a little bit deeper. Again, we deactivate and press on the cooling material to mold it and adapt it and offset shrinkage. And we continue this until we reach the five millimeter level. It's not necessary to continue heating and pressing apical to the five millimeter level or we may overcome our resistance form and inadvertently displaced gutta percha through the foramen. It is important in this technique to activate the instrument, rock the instrument a little buccal lingual, facial lingual, and that will usually disassociate the coronal two-thirds of the gutta percha from the apical one-third. And ideally, when you pull out the instrument, you'll see all that massive gutta percha on your electric heat plugger. Again, you can take a small pre-fit plugger and mold and condense the gutta percha that was previously established in the apical one-third. Well, the backpack technique simply means backfilling the canal that is devoid of gutta percha, and we can use a device such as the Calamus Flow delivery system to squirt uniform thermal softened aliquots of gutta percha into the root canal space. Smaller squirts are effective because it eliminates the potential for voids. 
Additionally, to eliminate voids, you can use a pre-fit plugger and you can very methodically step the plugger around the circumference of the canal and once the gutta percha is leveled off, a sustained press during the cooling cycle will prevent the gutta percha from shrinking. And through a series of heatings and squirting and condensing, we can work our way out of the canal. The backpack technique can stop at any level in the route to facilitate restorative dentistry, but typically, if restorative dentistry is not going to utilize this space, then we would backpack the canal to within about two millimeters of the orifice level. Reheat, squirt, condense. By pressing on the material during the cooling phase, yet again we will offset shrinkage. In this show, we have reviewed the more popular obturation methods utilized internationally. This show focused on various iterations of the classic vertical condensation with warm gutta percha technique that Schiller described in 1967. In the continuous wave technique, we activate an electric heat plugger and I must emphasize it should not take more than two to three seconds to reach the desired five millimeter level lest we entertain and promote the opportunity for thermal injury in the attachment apparatus. In the hybrid technique, instead of continuously plunging through the gutta percha, we use an interrupted method. So we heat, plunge, press. Heat, plunge, press, working our way progressively again to the five millimeter heat level. There's much less potential for thermal injury in this technique because it's interrupted. Once the canal was down packed, regardless of whether we use the continuous method or the interrupted technique, we now can backpack. The calamus flow can be utilized to squirt thermal softened gutta percha into any section of the canal to promote three dimensional obturation. Backpack level can be interrupted or carried up to the orifice level as described. So you can see there's many ways to use vertical condensation there's the classic shoulder technique that I've described in another just-in-time show. And then in this show, we looked at various iterations that can be utilized to thermal soften gutta percha and compress this material to pick up the intaglio of the endodontic space.